Have you ever heard about TypeScript? This programming language has become very popular in the last years. And it's because many frameworks are making usage of that. They use TypeScript to allow programmers to define typed variables and then can ensure certain restrictions, certain constraints to their environment. But with TypeScript, they can transform this code in JavaScript native code, that's exactly the technology that's widely accepted by many other technologies as web browsers or Node.js. So, if you have never the opportunity to work with that and want to have some first experience with this technology, this video is for you. Here, we are going to set up the environment and make one first example. And don't worry, we are not going to use any heavy software, you can download, install and use the technology here with just a few seconds. It's going to be a very simple process and we are going to do that now. Starting with the TypeScript programming, the first thing we need is to install the compiler, the TSC, TypeScript compiler. For that, when you type TSC in your console, take a look here in my console line and press enter, this error message that the TSC is not recognized should not happen. Your operational system needs to know that this instruction exists. So for that purpose, we need the NPM software, the Node Package Manager. With Node Package Manager, we can install the TypeScript compiler. And for that, you have to execute this command here, npm install minus g, then the command will be globally recognized by your operational system, and then type script. Okay? Just execute that. Don't worry to copy. I'm going to let this instruction available in the video description. You can copy from there. So now I'm executing. It's going to download now the dependencies. And in a few seconds, we are going to have the TypeScript compiler available. Take a look here. It takes less than six seconds to install the TypeScript compiler. At this point, if now we again try to write TSC TypeScript compiler, we can see that this instruction was now recognized by our operational system. And it's very important because with TypeScript compiler, we can take TypeScript files that normally has the extension TS from TypeScript and transform that in new files with the extension JS for JavaScript. And that will be our next step. Now, before we start to write our first TypeScript code, we need to understand a little bit about the types. Okay, this official page of TypeScript programming language, it showed to us the basic types or the primitive types. So we are going to use very often the number type that can represent integer numbers, float numbers. We can use strings to represent characters or any kind of text, and boolean for representing true and false. Basically, these are the primitive types. And of course, we can then define more advanced types like arrays or classes for object-oriented programming. But we are going to be limited to these very primitive types in its first example. But you can take a look here in this page. It's really very interesting. We have many possibilities of type definition and we still have some kind of flexibility like we have in the, in the programming language that are not um, hard typed, like the original JavaScript programming language. If you want to make some kind of type flexible, you can just set that as any. So any data type can fit in one specific variable. Okay, so now you have some idea of the primitive types. We are then going to program our on code. It's going to take a, uh, take a look here in its in page and see some examples like how they, they define types. Like here, they define a variable and with the same column, they already define the type. So it's not complicated to make types definition. Okay, we can take a look at more examples here. It's defined here a variable and then the type of the variable and it's optional, but they already here make the first assignment in, in this variable that's from type string. 
Okay, so based in this example from the official documentation, we are going to do our own example. So now let's do the funnest part of this video, that's coding with TypeScript. Okay, I already set already some basic of a function here. That's a very simple function for demonstration purpose in which we are going to send two numbers, the number one, the number two, and they are going to be some, and then the resulting of this processing is going to be returned. Okay, and what we have different here? We have different that we have defined types for these parameters. The parameter number one needs to be from number type. The parameter from number two needs to be of number type. And what changed with that? You can see here we are going to call the sum function with two numbers. But what if, what if, I have tried to call the same function passing as parameter a uh, e string. Uh, as you can see, it complains, it is not going to compile. If you set the cursor over this problem, you can see the error message, like the argument of type string, that's this number one as a string, cannot be assigned by the parameter of type number. This type here do not match with this type here. So it's some kind of protection, okay? So we, we cannot call a function with parameters using wrong types. And this is the kind of benefits that TypeScript provides to our um, the users from this programming language. But it can be used in several ways. So let's improve this function. And what if we define as well, not just the types of the parameters, but also the returning type of a function this function here has not defined it for returning type, and we can define that as well. If I say this function is going to return also a number, it looks okay now. But wh what if there is some kind of rule that I need to format the number using some kind of comma instead of, instead of um, dots, or its occurrence? numbers and we want to make the function to return some kind of uh, dollar in front of the number. Now, what it has identified? What's the problem now? The problem is, as we can see here, the type string is not assignable to type number because the resulting of this operation is going to produce one string and string do not match here. If you really want to return one string, then we can come here and replace the returning data type to string, then we can use without problems. So that's the nice thing of working with TypeScript. So now I'm going to change that to, to number again, and this will be our function. Then I take out this, this concatenation with this dollar and ensure we have the returning a number. Okay, so now we have the understanding how these types are defined and how the, the, the the whole environment complains about the wrong usage of that. In the last part of this video, we are going to execute this code. We are going to see this TypeScript code being transformed in one JavaScript code. Okay, so let's go there. Now, in the last part, we are going to make the magic transform the TypeScript, this TS file, in a JS file. And actually, who is going to do that is the TypeScript compiler. So the whole thing we have done here, installing the TSC, was to use that now. As you can see, we have one file named TS demo.ts here, and then it's here available in our directory where our source code is. Okay, so now I want to execute that. Can I execute that directly? No, Node is not going to be able to execute that directly. We need then to transform that in .js file. For this purpose, we have to type here, TypeScript compiler, TSC, and then the TypeScript file. TypeScript demo TS, okay? Then, the TypeScript compiler is going to process this file here and make the transformation. So let's execute that and see the output. Now it's processing the file, then we wait. And in a few moments, we are going to see the output after the compile process. 
Okay, it has concluded the processing and you can see here it has created a new file with the same name but with a different extension. Okay, so I'm going to click here and here is the original file with JS extension. You can see it just take out the types because because we don't have types in JavaScript code. And then here we do not have that. And this code here, it's actually going to produce the same output as the another one, but then this one we can run in other environments like browsers or in the backend with Node. So here, now if we try to run that Node and then not the TypeScript file, but the JS file, we can run this file with node. So node will just run the JS, will not run the TS. Okay? So here we have processed the file, it makes the sum one plus two, and then we have here the three output in the console. Okay? Hope you have enjoyed this video. Hope you can understand the TypeScript um, environment and how it works. And hope you can use that in your own projects and with your own goals. Thank you for watching.